just gonna turn off the GoPro that's now covered in insects, Jesus Christ. Look at that, it's pretty disgusting. The funny thing is, right, is that when people think about motorcyclists, they think, oh, you guys are crazy, you guys are hooligans, you guys are reckless. But the actual fact is that we're just as reckless and clueless as anyone else, as anyone else who likes to go fast. But the thing is, right, is that we can do it for so much cheaper than you can. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Before I start this video, before we begin, I just wanted to clarify two things. Just to avoid all the people just getting like <laughs> really, really mad at, me at this video. Number one, I'm not shitting on car people. I love cars, seriously. I'm a big car person, especially old classic. I'm not trying to show what you love to do. I'm just stating a fact. Just take this with a pinch of salt and you'll get your knickers bunched up. Now that's been said, let's get into the video. And if you're new to this channel, please be sure to hit the subscriber bell. We've got some awesome content coming up. And if you haven't yet, also do get your motorcycle live tickets. Link is in the description. I'll be there again on the 24th fourth of November so be sure to get there because it'll be really cool to meet everyone. I'm so excited. Okay, so take this bike for example. This is my Kawasaki ZX6R 2005. Um, it's a 636cc model, which means it's pretty good. So this is a 600cc sport bike, right? That doesn't sound like very big of an engine, does it? Puts out a lot of power in comparison to the weight of the bike. To put this into perspective, right? This has half the engine size of my VW Golf. I love that car, it's a fantastic vehicle. <laughs> Car just completely ruining everything. It's a fantastic vehicle, but it's slow as shit. Seems like there's a Triumph coming. Let's wait for this Triumph to bugger off. Do a wheelie, bro. That sounded pretty decent. I think it was an older speed triple. Anyway, so even though she only has a 600cc engine, she is capable of speeds. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit from this from like the, the R1 owners, the 1000cc owners. Like, oh, you're a 600, you can't do this. It probably can. You just need to change the tuning a little bit. But this thing can easily do close to close to 170 mile an hour and the great thing about it is it only cost me two and a half grand two and a half grand now to put that in pers into perspective you're gonna need an expensive toy we're gonna talk about this more but first of all i need a quick coffee <laughs> Oh no, it is about to absolutely fuck it down. I was just at Destination Triumph in Washington, not America, you know, the British Washington. Some really nice bikes on for sale, I'm mega tempted. So, two and a half grand can get you one of these. Now, to put that in perspective, if you're in a car, to get that kind of speed out of it, out of it you're looking to spend upwards of, you know, 60,000 pounds, probably 60 to 100 grand. You know, you're looking at the likes of Porsche or like Mercedes AMG territory, and they can go any from like 60,000 pounds to 100,000 pounds or more. It's mad. But for this, two and a half grand, and you can get a very good condition pocket rocket that will cost you nothing to run, really. Obviously, it's a bit of a pain to buy all the gear and things like that. But it costs you nothing to run, can take you from zero to 60 in like just over three seconds. I mean, what more can you fucking want? Gotta excuse the uh, the Triumph jumper when I'm driving Kawasaki. I know it's a bit funny, but whatever. <laughs> and then if you spend a little bit more, if you're spending like 15 grand, 10 to 15 grand, you can get a brand new R1, the 1000cc, which is, you know, nearly 200 horsepower that can take you to oh, like nearly 200 miles an hour, full, full of like all the crazy spec electronics, ABS packages, power modes everything you can want and those bikes will absolutely smoke pretty much smoke anything else on the road the most expensive motorbike you can buy probably at the moment for the road is going to be the Panigale V4R and that's only 34 grand for what you're getting and I think the R puts out about 220 horsepower on a motorbike 
mental. You're crazy not to get into motorbikes. Okay, fair enough. So you won't have four wheels. You're not gonna have air conditioning or heating. You're not gonna have leather seats, but you've got all the fun. So I've just done the thumbnail and I think it's time to go because I'm getting kind of weird looks from... She hates me so much, she's turned away from me. <laughs> all I wanted you to do was to be in the thumbnail. <laughs> Is later. The only thing I would like to have would be. I know what we need a hammer, a proper hammer. I'm gonna be able to hammer you. Don't hammer me. It's like domestic abuse. Really? <laughs> you're gonna walk around like what? Like, what's up? Honey, you're scary enough without wielding a massive hammer. You wanna give me a gift? What gift? Can I have this one pound ninety seven blue pot of plant? Yes, you may have a potted plant. Do you want me to go get it? It's a gift. Oh god damn it. Uh, which one do you prefer? The blue, the purple, or Gabby, yeah, they're a fucking potted plant. Just pick a goddamn colour. Okay, go for the purple. Thank you so much. You're such a cute husband. Can I have that in such writing please and I can laminate it? I am the best. We the best! In the words of our Lord and Saviour DJ Khaled, we the best. <sighs> right, stupid potted plant. <sighs> that was the best one out of all? Yes, that was the best one. Thank you. Hammer it, Gabby. Hammer it. It was not that good. <laughs> Right, so we got all the tools we needed. I got a breaker bar, most definitely needed. As you guys know, we're basically gonna be doing lots and lots of track days next season. Um, and I'm, I'm so excited for it, but I need to update my toolkit. So I definitely need a, new, a breaker bar, which is basically gonna be used for removing the axle nut. Uh, to get the wheel off, to change the chain of sprockets uh, and to obviously change the tyres because I want to do the change of chain of sprocket kit as well so I want to go one down and then uh, two up on the back which basically would mean that we get a little bit more torque because the issue with the ZX6R is that even though it is a 170 mile an hour motorbike give or take, you know, it, it, it could do with having a little bit less top end power and then having a lot more uh, low end and mid ranged uh, torque. So that's what the change of the chain of sprockets will do. It will give us, that's what we need. Especially on like uh, something like the Nürburgring GP circuit, you know, it will definitely help me on my two and a half thousand pound uh, motorbike keep up with the likes of uh, Hugo on his uh, 2018 R1. Um, and James on his 2018 MT10 to do all the work that we need to do over this coming winter uh, in preparation for that trip. I'm super excited. Now, this person can't drive yeah, at all, man. Oh, this Toyota up here is just absolutely retarded. And now he's feeling like a mother Like when he was like... <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> the huge misconception nowadays that to get like a lot of performance out of your motorbike It's gonna be an expensive buy. That is the case sure if you want to get a brand new motorcycle That year, you know from a dealership, you know with low rate finance, you know That's what you're gonna have to get but if you're like me and you don't want to you know get a, a Finance package I bought my bike outright you don't want to break the bank and you also want amazing performance You know you can find those deals and it is possible to find them and it's not that expensive I mean you know, my ZX6R, I, I was I was looking for a while. You, if you guys have been watching the videos for a long time, you'll know this. I used to have a Ducati Monster 600, which is, you know, it's a great little bike, but it's not exactly very quick at all. Gabby also had the same bike. That's how we met, girl. That is not a high five. <laughs> it's just touching hands, it's slightly awkward. I wanted something that was a bit more speed, it was a bit newer. I knew I wanted a sport bike, so I was looking around for ages. I sold my Ducati Monster for way more money than I bought it for. It's one of the great things about buying second hand. If you can buy smart, you can use the bike, put miles on it, and then sell it and make money, if you take care of it, obviously. So every single bike that I've had, I've made money on it, which is, I, I think that's brilliant. You're just like a little rally driver. Look at this shit. It's like killing it around these corners. Whoa! Slow down, woman, I'm trying to make a video. But all the ones I found within my budget, I had a budget of about three grand, were really, really high miles. But lo and behold, you do your shopping, and I came across 
this blue ZX6 car. Some women drive like this. That's true, some women do drive like that actually. It's so stressful. My mom drives like this. I'm gonna show you. And we're back home. So basically, the moral of the story is, if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find a fantastic sports bike that can give you the same performance as a £100,000 car, but for a fraction of the price. I hope you liked this video, guys. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please do drop a like. Remember, your motorcycle live tickets, get them below. I'll see you there on the 24th of November. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Peace.